Okay, I will take the first question. Um, Roger asked, is it better to add users from the portal than the PWDM node in Explorer or the connector? What is the difference? It really doesn't matter either way. The only advantage one would have over the other is if you uh, don't have access to ProjectWise Explorer at any time, you can always go to the portal to do your work. It's just less thick client dependent. Okay, do we have more questions? All right, let me get to some other questions that we had brought up for consideration that might not be uh, at the top of people's list at the moment. Now, sometimes people will ask, what happens, or why am I prompted to log into deliverables management, although logged into the project-wise data source? This could happen if you're logged in to the data source as a logical user and Deliverables management works on IMS, so you would have to log in to the IMS client in order to uh, access deliverables management. We also come across uh, some common questions like how to delete the packages from deliverables management. Basically, we don't have any procedure for deleting the packages that have already been sent. The only option is to recall the package and archive them. Okay, uh, another question we get occasionally is what is currently the file size limit to upload in deliverables management? I believe the threshold is still currently at 10 gigabytes. That's right. And to add it further, the maximum number of files in a package you can add are 2,000 documents per transmitter. The maximum number of references one file can include are 461 references. Now, what is the maximum folder depth that we can add in the DM? The answer to this is 21 level. That means you can have folders and subfolder structure up to 21 levels. What would be the maximum folder name limit that can be added in deliverables management? That is 63 characters. There is one more common question. How many maximum number of internet users per organization we can add? The answer to this is 4,300 users you can add as internal users, users per organization. You can also add 300 recipients as a maximum number of recipients in one package. Mark has a question. I noticed when you went to select files in your local drive, is it possible to grab the file straight from ProjectWise? Uh, yes, it is, Mark. That would be through WSG and your work area connection in the portal. And if you're logged in to the DM connector, uh, you will have direct access to your files and project ones. And uh, Vikrant asks, thanks, we are, when we are sending a transmittal, so is it just a link of a doc we are sending? No, it is actually a bundled package. It is, uh, when you add the documents, the process zips them and sends them to the server where they are distributed. So you're actually getting full copies of the files. That's why... You have to wait for everybody that's on the send list, that's on the recipient list, to acknowledge it before you can actually access the files, which is a question I've run into this week. Okay. How do you manage a company name when you create an external organization? You add the contacts email, but they don't see any organization fields to fill. That, Stephen, is handled when the IMS account is created. The company name is uh, designated on IMS account creation. Now, the project, I believe you can rename the project, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Maduri, do you know? Uh, I'm also not sure on that, Dan. I believe it gets managed via IMS thing only. I believe so, too. Uh, Gary with the Oregon DOT, uh, deliverables management works with the web client and with Explorer through the uh, DM connector. Let me share real quick, and I will demonstrate that. I actually had that pulled up because I anticipated that. When you install the Deliverables Management Connector, there is a separate installer for it. You can find the downloads. It's uh, added to any. It's added to ProjectWise in general and any projects where you have Deliverables Management enabled. Work on through Project through Deliverables Management and do your settings and everything. All right, I would like to take a question asked by Greg. Uh, basically, he says we have some clients that do not use ProjectWise. Can we use this to submit to clients that do not have a ProjectWise license? Yes, Greg, you can use PWDM for the clients who do not have ProjectWise license. 
but you will be responsible for their license usage as you are going to add them as the external parties in your project. Okay, Thomas asks, is there a way of linking a project-wise user account to DM user list for internal use to save duplication of effort? No, there's not an address book capability yet. I don't know if that is in the pipeline, but it does make sense. I believe that would be a possible enhancement if it's not already filed. Okay, Claire from Jacobs asked, does the client who you are sending a transmitter to require a banking account to be able to view the transmittal contents? Yes, they need to have an IMS user account associated with the Bentley to view the packages you have been sending. Right, I'm answering number 21 in the list. If you want to take another one real quick, Maduri. So Shavin from Petrotic asked, is this deliverable management the same as the one available from Project by CC4? Yes, Shavin. This is the same deliverable management you use to access from the Connect portal. It has all the basic functionalities that were included in the Connect portal. Only it is now available in Project Y65 project. Okay, I'm going to grab the one from Mike. Uh, what permissions do people need on the portal to be able to manage DEM? You can configure them with any of the roles and the permissions under the DEM side. Um, let me show you the role management real quick. This takes place from your user management, from manage your team. You have the option to manage roles. Here's where you can set up a custom role or just view what roles are available for roles that are already there. Basically what you'll do is if you create a custom role, you will come down and look for project-wise deliverables management and this will allow, these are the permissions that are you can assign for the users. Um, if you change one of these, say you want to take approve RFI off, and you go to um, save the change, it will make you create a new project role rather than an enterprise role. Okay, uh, Stephen with Atkins, you say that the external organization is handled by IMS, by IMS. What happens if the organization doesn't have IMS accounts? Can you use DEM with these organizations? They will have to register with IMS. When they go to accept the invitation, they will be prompted to either log in with their IMS account or create one at that point. Okay. Roger from Oricon says, what will happen to the previous packages sent to an old email if there was a change of email address? So, Roger, you can go back to the transmittal which were sent to the previous email and add the new pack, uh, add the new version of that package and add the new email there and resend the same package. Or you can use the delegate option. Thomas, statement rather than question on the PW user, DM user, one would also be handy to define certain users that can use this lawyers. Okay, let me read this out loud. A, qu a question on the project-wise user, DM user one. Would also be handy to define certain user lists as external as well if there is a future update linking both project wise and dm users when you send a transmittal out you have the option to filter on external versus internal so it kind of directly addresses this i would like to see address book functionality but i don't know if that's available yet I'm sure it's been brought up and I'm sure it's being considered, but I don't have an absolute answer on that. But the functionality, if you filter by external, that will give you insight onto that. All right. Nicole from National Grid says, why aren't metrics and cover letters saved and accessed and updated from Inside Explorer and only done so far from the portal? That's a very good and interesting question. We certainly do not have answer to this one, but we will try to bring our development team's attention on this particular question and ask the particular reason why it is not available via DM connector. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.